All right, the next thing to talk about, and this is a subject of 2.4, are what are called elementary matrices. Elementary matrices are matrices where what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the identity. Let's just use the three by three identity. It's big enough to be interesting, but not so big that it's uh, untenable here. So let's let I be the three by three identity. And elementary matrices are matrices uh, that are uh, one row operation. So I like to think of these as, th there's a more formal definition, but this is, uh, this is what they are. They're matrices that are one row operation away from the identity matrix. So there's three types of elementary matrices. There's three types. And that's because there's three row operations. So uh, the first type, by the way, I forget the order that the book goes in. So the book, the book's type one and the, my type one might be different. I'm not even gonna call these type one, type two, type three, but there's three types. So the first is where you take any row and you multiply by a non-zero number. Say you have four, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. Okay. that's uh, the first type of elementary matrix. So you've taken the top row or whatever row and multiplied by a non-zero number. Um, you could also add a multiple of one row to any other. So you could say, take row two, multiply it by three and add it to row three. So if you were to do that, so if you were to add three times row two, so you multiply row two by three, add it to row three, you're gonna end up with zero, three, one. Okay, so that's another thing that you could do there. And the last operation is you could interchange any two rows. So let's say we interchanged the second and third rows. And then these are gonna be your three types of elementary matrices. Okay, there's a little bit more than we can say there, but just by definition, that's what an elementary matrix is.